So where do your stories go when you die? Dust to dust and ashes to ashes? Pretty much so. Your stories evaporate. When you're at a funeral, you hear people tell amazing stories of that person. You wish you had a tape recorder because you never heard some of those stories, but then the funeral ends and the stories turn to dust and blow away. Somehow, part of moving on is feeling the person but not talking about them. I know because I've had both my mom and dad dead for a while, as well as my grandparents, my sister, and my brother. There's a sense of vagueness about them. I can say they're in my heart, but on some level, I don't want to feel how significant these losses are and how much these losses have changed me. I can't remember some of their stories or the way they'd put certain words together that'd make me laugh. People wear black armbands to show they are in mourning so they don't have to talk about what they are going through. It's saying, people go away. I can't talk about my feelings. I'm in grief. Please honor this. The phrase wearing your heart on your sleeve is synonymous with the mourning black armband people wear. I wrote Inspiration, a reading and writing journal to help people frame their grief and loss stories for themselves and other people right after the person has gone, or maybe while they're still alive but in transition. It's painful, you know, painful. But if you get these stories, they will always nourish you. The person won't become vague. You'll feel them, their presence, and that lost part of you when they died. We can also gather information for this 50-page book in your audios, videos, and pictures, too. When you turn the person's words, their thoughts, and stories into a 50-page book, the grief turns into love as we remember the person who took part of our heart with them. I think, for the most part, most of us don't like to feel the loss because we are afraid our feelings are going to consume us. That's why people may start their memory books, but don't complete them because it brings up painful feelings. And we did have the best of intentions, but the stories get lost, remembered only in a passing conversation. So I'm asking you to take action by having your loved ones tell their stories, or you tell the stories they might have forgotten so we can turn the stories into books before you forget. These thin books sit so simply on your shelf and are pulled out and easily found any time you want to feel and remember these stories and the person who created these stories. Death waits for no one. We wake up our consciousness and connect to each other in our stories. You have lived stories beyond belief, and they are your stories to tell and turn into books. Take action on those you love so their stories don't go to ashes. If you have the person's stories in a book, they are alive in what they have experienced on earth. This is Beth Lord, also known as Beth B. Lord. And you can find me on my website, www.bethlord.com, as well as hashtag your thin books rock, hashtag write heart memories, hashtag Beth Lord, and hashtag Beth B. Lord. Thank you.